Welcome, I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot. All about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And uh, I'm actually going to do two Kickstarters in this video. Because the one is really pretty short. And I have just a really fabulous Etsy find that I wanted to share with you. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get alert when I post new videos. I have at least, at least, 25 more unboxings to do. And I have three or four decks um, on their way to me. So, psh, I gotta get moving. Okay. So, this first thing um, I found on Etsy. And I left one of them in the box still so you could see how pretty it is. But basically, these were just sweet little add-ons that they sent me. Uh, which is just lovely. But, um, I got some statues. Now, these are resin, so they're nice and light. But, I mean, just really beautifully, beautifully done. You know, these are uh, velvet on the bottom to protect your furniture. Um, so, I have, I have Hades. And then I got Odin. It started with Odin. I just felt like I wanted Odin. <laughs> I mean, just beautiful, beautiful. I will link the shop in the description. They have tons of stuff. But this is how they come. Which is just, I just thought it was so pretty. And it's so protected. Um, so, yeah. So, of course... Hecate, or Hecate. She's still Hecate to me, though. Um, but I just thought it was so, so beautiful. And they have different color options and things. So, if you're interested, um, I'll link them in the description. <coughs> you know, whether you use them for worship, whether you use them just because they're pretty, you like the history, you know. Um, okay. Let's get into the first Kickstarter it's not really an unboxing. I've already unboxed it and been using it. But I wanted to share it with you because it is so cool. So this is by Karma Side. And it's tarot card deck coin. So basically, it came with this... Uh, yeah, I'll call it a chain, but it's not a chain. It's uh, like a cord. Um, so, you know, you can obviously wear it. And it's actually really, really pretty on. But, the thing is, you can, this is like having a deck around your neck, basically. So, I'm hoping we can, you can see everything. Um, so, let's start maybe here. Make sure you can see. Um, so what we have, oh here you can see Karma side. So you have minor here. You have major, I don't know what that is, I'm trying to look through the viewfinders, oh, the arcana, um, tower of coins, so basically what you do is say you wanted to pull a card, so to speak, you would just kind of spin it and you know, put down, are you going to be on major or minor first, right? So, where are we? We are on... Mm, I think there's a minor. Okay, so you're on the minors, right? Then, you want to figure out the suits. So, the suits are on the back, right? And then again, you would just kind of spin, pick one. So now we're on swords. Now we need the uh, the number. So on the back, it goes from, I guess it kind of starts, well, no, okay, here. So we have the ace, and it goes all the way up to blah, 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 all the way to your quartz. You have page knight, queen, king, you know, PK, QK. Uh, 
Oh, actually, that's an N. <laughs> Sorry. So it makes it really obvious. But anyway, so then you would spin it again. So we have the Knight of Swords. All right, so that's kind of how you do it. But I just thought it was fabulous. And if you picked a major, you go back, you stay on this side, basically. And we have zero to ten. Oh, first you have to... All right, so if it's a major, first you spin it and pick. And you'll see it's either going to be plus 11 or plus zero. So if it's plus zero, those are going to be your zero to ten. If it's plus 11, those are going to be... Um, Eleven to twenty-one. So then you would just, you know, and that's how you pick up basically. But really nice thickness, and I just love this. I really, I really do, and I love to wear it. And it's fun to use it. And I mean, potentially you could use this for multiple cards. You know, just maybe write them down as you go. Um, but definitely, it's fabulous for like that single card. Um, it. So my eyes aren't great. Um, they're not that bad, but they're not that great. Um, I will tell you that I can see this just fine in person. Certain words... No, I think I could read it at all, actually. Looking through the viewfinder, though, it's um, a little more difficult for me. So hopefully you're going to be able to see this well. Because I can, you know. Uh, but it's fabulous. I will see if... Uh, if there's a shop, I think there might be. I'll link it. Um, the creator has another, um, has more coins that are in Kickstarter. I'm not sure if it funded yet or not. If it didn't fund, I'll link that too. I can link it either way, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there's that. But now, onto a kind of regular deck. Uh, I hate to call it regular, but. So this, I've been very excited for this, and it's been sitting for a while. Because um, I just I just got a little overwhelmed with all these decks. So, you know, all these Kickstarters are coming in kind of at the same time. That's the problem. Not that I mind, but, you know. So this is the Inner Alchemy Oracle. Look how pretty. Love that it's a tin. So this is... Well, let's open it. Oh, so there is not going to be anything. So I think, so the copyright is Skidabra, which is fabulous. Um, Sabracadabra. That's kind of all I can tell you. Um, I will, again, link anything I can find. I'm not sure if there's a shop or... Um, at least an Instagram something for the creator. But these cards are significantly shorter than standard tarot. A good bit more narrow as well. Um, very nice kind of hand size. You know, this is the kind that's like so nice to hold in your hand and overhand with them. Um, love these backs. Absolutely beautiful. And now, let's take a look at the fronts. So, I think you can read these, but just in case, we have Sacred Air, Dance with the Wind. Oh, what a wonderful message. Oh, and the cardstock is, uh, is it? Yeah, this is a nice linen cardstock. It feels really nice. Dissolution. Dive into your shadow. Wow. Fermentation. Test your strength. Calcination. Free ego and attachments. Conjunction. Merge your whole self. Um... Now, obviously, I, you know, it, it is called the Inner Alchemy 
Oracle. Um, it's alchemy based. Um, I think that, I mean, you know, we're just a little bit in, but because we do have these, these messages on the bottom, even if you don't know anything about alchemy, I think you can still, um, you know, really benefit from the cards. And I'll tell you, if you're interested in alchemy and don't really know it, um, so far, you know, these are, these are fitting really well. Um, so, so we have separation. See your different parts. Ant antimony. You are free and protected. Oh, I love this. Copper. You are love and beauty. Copper is one of my favorite metals, too. I'm just saying. Temperance. Find a balance. Always my struggle. Charity. Offer your gifts. Crown Chakra. Align to your higher self. I love this card. So, so beautiful. And it just feels right. Oh, look at that. Sacred fire. Destroy old paradigms. How wonderful. And he's just beautiful. Dreams. Lift the veil. Sacred earth. Nurture your home. Beautiful. Now, I will tell you, um, the letters are kind of oddly spaced, which it just takes me a moment to, um, to get, you know, what the words are. They're not too small. Um, it's just a little bit awkward in the second line to read it, but it's absolutely readable. I mean, clearly I'm reading them, but just to make you aware of that. Oh, look at that. Coagulation. The Philosopher's Stone. And some are spaced fine. I think it's... I feel like it's... Maybe it's just the U's are weird. Right? If that would focus. Right? So this one's fine. So it could just be the U's, honestly. I think it's just the font style. Oh. Focus. Witness the infinity of now. <sighs> I am so in love with this card. I feel like this card is calling to me right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna just slip that aside for myself for later. The dark sun devour the light. Oh, I love these cards. Health. Reach optimum vitality. Yeah, that's what it is. It's that the right side of the U is really, really thin. Um, and it just, you know, now that I know, I, I don't think it's, you know. And again, it's not like, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably making way more of it than I should. Heart chakra. Love is the message. Oh, that's beautiful. Hidden strength. Grow through the cracks. Oh. Distillation. Purify your spirit. Master creator. You can manifest anything. Humility. You are no better, no worse. I feel like so many people remember the first part but forget the second. Oh, inner child, forgive yourself. Lemon balm, share some compassion. Discipline, mastery is power. Very true. Leap of faith. Trust the process. 
let go. Hope for the best. I personally, I would maybe change it to like believe in the best or something. But, I mean, it's beautiful. Holy Basil, you are in incomparable. Incomparable. Oh my god. Sorry. It is, it is like 100 degrees here. And I am melting. Uh, iron. Work with your fortitude. Mercury. Build those bridges. I love this one too. I hope you're getting like a good view of it. Metamorphosis. Embrace your evolution. Caduceus, your power is arising. Ooh. Phoenix, a death is transformation. Very true. I do believe that's misspelled. Um... Now, the creator is in England. I don't... I feel like that shouldn't change it. But just, again, to make you aware. I don't mind. I kind of like... Like, if it's, like, mild... Um, um, mistakes. It's kind of... I don't know. It kind of adds character to the deck. But just to make you aware. Um, root chakra. Ground yourself. Oh, I love that. Fabulous. Paracelsus. Find your healing practice. Lead. This is a new beginning. Horse tail. Break karmic patterns. I love that we have Saturn there for that. Sacral chakra. Follow your desires. Caraway seeds. Listen to your gut. Oh, wow. Ouroboros all endlessly returns. Love that. Hermes, salt, as above, so below. Solar plexus, step into your light. Beautiful. Moon, this is a passing phase. <laughs> I love the face. Sun, aim for gold. I love that sun. Third eye chakra, expand your perception. Thoth sulfur, connect to your spirit. Throat chakra, sing your truth. Love this. Timing, allow life to unfold. Oh, how wonderful that is. That's a fabulous, fabulous message. Oh, wow, look at this. Union, play with your opposites. Really, really nicely done. Victory. Achieve your goals. Sacred water. Flow downstream. Yarrow. Tend to your wounds. Tin, 
Grow knowledge. Live wisdom. I think my cat is calling me. I don't know. So I wonder if they got stuck somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay, nobody was stuck anywhere. But I'm redoing my daughter's room. And I'm keeping the door closed. Keep the animals out. So I just want to make sure nobody snuck in. Um, so let me give these a shuffle. And even though this is a short deck, I think because it's such a yummy linen cardstock, um, it's actually pretty easy to ruffle shuffle. Um, it was very easy. So usually small decks like this, I can't really ruffle them. Um, it's just my own little thing. But ooh. but this one ruffles beautifully. Love the overhand experience. Really, really nice. Alright, so I'm going to lay these out, and then I'm going to pair them. I, after I checked on the cat, I grabbed a couple of decks that I thought might be fabulous with this deck. Um, oh, these are beautiful. So really, I love the way they, these look laid out. Um, now... Thing. Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> there might be a guidebook. There might be a PDF guidebook. Um, I'll see. Sometimes with Kickstarters, they send the PDF guidebook like way before you get the deck. And for me, I don't want to look at the guidebook yet. I want to wait for the deck. So it's possible that was the case with this. You know, so like I already have the link. I just haven't used it. Um, I'm not sure. So, but I'll. It, I'll try to remember to put in the description if it exists or not. Um, if you're interested, I, I don't feel like I need one, but I will say that if it has one, I will look at it for this deck because I think there's probably something to be gained. It's just, yeah, you know, it's just my gut. Um, but it, this is really, really, really beautiful. And. I love the messages. I love the way the deck is structured. Um, I love the way the cards feel in my hands. The way they sound. But let's go ahead. Oh, I love that. And that. Let's go ahead and see about pairing this now. Um, so I, I just grabbed a couple. Um... We'll say, we'll say. So it was just like that first gut instinct. That's how I how I did it. So the first one, and I may have grabbed it more because of the size, honestly, but we'll say, is the Weird of Sarah Howard, and of course it's by Gabby Angus West. So it's a very very different um, art style and all that, but these are the back. So those are kind of interesting together. Um, but now for the fronts. Let's see. Let's try it this way. like these together and I like that this one is so vibrant and this one's I don't know that I exactly call it muted but it's just not it's just not that vibrant color um, yeah I really actually like these together I wasn't sure but I just felt like I should grab it um, together okay so now let's see so I wanted to try I have a uh, oh 
you know what? Let's try the Rain Shadow Tarot. Um, and this... This... Oh, it's by Claire Mack. Co-written with Autumn Hess. Um, I'm not sure about this one either, but I thought it would be interesting to see them together. So, and at least now we're mixing <laughs> tarot. And I, I do tend to kind of throw everything. Um, I think the backs are okay together. Hmm. So, actually. Um, actually, I like these together more than I really expected. Yeah, what do you think? I like the. I'm so surprised. You know, again, I just sort of grabbed it on a whim. It just felt like, yeah, I grabbed this. Um,. these together. I definitely, I definitely like them. Oh, nice. Okay. So then, um, two more. So the one, um, so the one I, I'm pretty confident will be a good pairing. Well, then you never know. But the other one, I don't know. Again, this was like, I just kind of felt like, yeah, let me grab it. Um, so we'll see. But this one is Tarot de Ambiguities, um, and it's an artisan tarot deck by Alejandro R. Rosan. Rosan? Um, and this stuff. So lovely. Um, I don't know. Let, let's see. Let's see. I like the backs together. Um, but of course, you know, the main thing is the fronts. I think there's like a nice old feel to this deck that is kind of echoed in this one. There's, there's a sort of... Um, I don't know. It just feels kind of older. You know, in a great way. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I like these together. Yeah. You know, it would be fabulous in a spread, too. Can I just say... <laughs> Especially because of the size and everything else. Like, if we just grab, like, say you pulled a single card, right? Let's just, let's just take one. Um, how fun would it be to do a spread, like, around it? And I would have to pull out more to really do the top and the bottom, but... I just feel like... seen it. Sorry. Um, yeah. kind of like that. Quite like it. Okay. Now we're going to do one more. And this one, this is the one I was most sure about. So watch, this will be the one that I like the least. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's just like that, right? Uh, but we'll see. So, this one, is the serpent and the peacock. And uh, this is by Libra Moon Incorporated. And this is this is the art edition. So it's uh it's large um, and borderless. I almost grabbed the smaller size, but I feel like I don't know, maybe cuz I want to kind of do that around the around the card with this as well. 
Also, let's see. Maybe I'm not gonna do top and bottom because it's just gonna cut them off, but just to kind of see. Yeah, I like these together. Again, it's kind of got a sort of. Well, I mean, this definitely has an older feel. Um, and the art style's not not. All, I don't know what it is that makes me feel. Maybe because just the whole alchemy. Maybe that's where I get that kind of older vibe. Um, yeah, I quite like these together, actually. Yeah. These are great. You know it would be great with it too, probably? Um, but I don't remember where it is. It's in a, it's in a pouch. And it's not a labeled pouch, and uh, it makes it a pain to find. Um, now I can't eat the, the the holy the um, the holy sun. Um, ah, you guys know what I mean, right? You know what I'm talking about. Um, I'll have to find that at some point and give them a try because I do feel like they'll they'll go nicely. I just, I didn't want to, you know, go crazy looking for it, because again, it's like 100 degrees, and I have like a ton of videos to make, so let me know what you think, um, the radiant sun, the radiant sun, anyway, um, yeah, I love, I love the stack, I really do, I'm so happy I got it, and I have had it for a while, um, you know. I just, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, but, oh, it's so, so pretty. And I love the messages. I love the keyword, or not the key, the titles. Um, I love the unicorn. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited to kind of sit with this, because I feel like I need to. <laughs> but anyway, this was the Inner Alchemy Oracle. And again, I will link um, whatever I can find in the description. So let me know what you think. Did you get this? And I think this was a second printing. So you may have had this already. So if you did, if you do, let me know. Let me know how you like it, how you use it. What do you pair with it? And until next time, just be wonderful to yourself. Be really, really wonderful because you deserve the best, only the best, all the best, <clears throat> and that is my wish for you.